Mike and we are back again. While we're on the subject of the economy, I was passed this information recently um, concerning what has happened in the past versus what has happened today. Um, number one, there are persons who keep shouting that we have seen our best, best days. In fact, I met a certain politician who told me our Halcyon days are over. That may be correct because on reflection, we earned over $120 million per annum from bananas. We don't have that today. Over 10,000 farmers and farm owners were employed in the banana industry. That is not so today. Winwood Island Packaging Company, Winera, used to produce over 1 million boxes for the banana sector. That is not so today. That company also employed over 150 workers on a two-shift system with a payroll of over $250,000. Today, that is not so. Caribbean Manufacturing Company Limited, Carryman, a factory operating in Viewfort, used to employ over 200 workers on a two-shift system. That is no longer. We once produced pasteurized milk at beaux in Viewfort. That is no longer. In Sufre, the copper factory contributed to Sufre's economic sustenance and also employed over 140 workers. That is not so today. We exported many vegetables to the region and to England. That does not exist today. The Mabuya Valley contributed a great portion of our banana exports to England and employed over 300 workers. That does not exist today. Bell Fashions in Denry employed about 700 workers and contributed significantly to the economic stability of the valley. That is gone. There were many factories operating in Viewfort. Most of them have walked. The politician was certainly right. We have definitely seen our best days. Could we continue to sit back and allow St. Lucia to go downhill? No, we cannot. It is a fact that about 5,000 children leave school each year. During the last 13 years, over 65,000 children have left school. Are we able to provide them with jobs? No. With a 20% unemployment among the youth and the fact that we are not bringing in new investors to create jobs, we can run into difficulty. During the last 13 years, we have witnessed many job losses. Traditionally, line staff were the first to lose jobs. The pattern has changed. We are now experiencing job losses in agriculture, manufacturing, commerce, public utilities, construction, and tourism, and even the banking sector. We have lost over 6,000 jobs. Recently, I understand that at the, at the George Charles Airport, where we had about 45 flights coming in daily, with Liat contributing about 16 of these flights, that airline is now down to five flights daily, three in the morning and two in the afternoon. We must get up before it is too late. Kajima has left Viewfort. This will impact stevedores and hurt the marine terminal monthly income. It is time that we give attention to the maritime terminals operation. We have over 500 pensioners on the island. They have not received increases on their pension for some time now. They have to meet increases in bus fares, cost of living. Many of them are unable to pay even for the servicing of their vehicles. After working hard for St. Lucia, you are packed, you are packed aside. While we continue to use the House of Assembly increasingly as a battleground, many St. Lucians are finding it difficult to pay their mortgages because uh, to pay their mortgages, house and car insurances, and property care for their families. They cannot even put money aside. We see castries dying slowly. Businesses are closing down. Those that are financially capable are moving to the north. That does not create any balance. It is time that we move to save Castries as a shopping destination. Splaspa is not doing well at all. Traditionally, around this time, Port Castries would have 
many ships and container activity. So you can see, St. Lucians, that all is not well in our lovely Helen. So, but this program today, though it may sound critical, these are the facts that lie ahead of us and we must get together to assist each other. And it has to be done through the private sector. Government cannot do it on their own. So on that score, I implore St. Lucians to try to understand where we're going and make, a, what should I say, a real contribution, not a critical one, but to save our country. We'll be right back. Thank you.